Hey, what's up? Nat here. Just want to do a little quick intro before the episode starts. Um, first, let's say, yeah, it's been, again, it's been a while, but for some good reason. Um, I think the last time we released an episode was in early November. And since then, we've been busy working on that um, first uh, New Signal album that uh, I told you about in the last episode. Um, and, uh, happy to say that, uh, it's ready to go. We've got, um, we've got our masters back and everything. It sounds really good. Worked on it really hard and, uh, hope you guys will like it. I'm not sure exactly when it will be released, but it will be sometime early in the new year, uh, when we get all the artwork together and finalized song names and things like that. Um, yeah, this episode is, uh, oh, uh, some big, some big news. Um, some bad news. Um, you know, we've had lots of uh, troubles with keeping our spaces for recording um, and playing, and it's happened to us once again. We had been in this amazing. We had just gotten this amazing space, and we lost it again. I won't go into the details now about what happened, but uh, and we'll we'll fill you in on, on a future episode. In the meantime, uh, we got we do have a couple episodes um, that we've got in the can that uh, we do want to release that we were able to record at our old space. This one is with a special guest, uh, an artist who just happened to be visiting from Hong Kong uh, named Nadim Abbas. He's a really cool sculptor and installation artist. He mostly played bass and he and he killed it on the bass. It was great. Um, never played together before and he totally fit right in so it was a lot of fun. My only regret is that we didn't get to dive into his artwork and art practice as much and what he was specifically in Chicago doing and working on. But we had a lot of fun nevertheless. Um, hope you enjoy it. You can check out his work at nadimabbas.com and uh, yeah, enjoy the episode.
to the new signal. Welcome to the episode of the new signal. Welcome to the new, new, new. You gotta talk close uh, to the mic. So I, I, I have to know oh, that song. all right. Unless you want to do it for effect, you know, if you want to be like, oh, I'm so talking from the back the of the stage. room. <laughs> so <laughs> unprofessional cool. right the, now. The, the one about Just... the, the the dancers, the Russian dancer. What's that, what's that one? Is the Lionel soundtrack. Oh, man. He's getting oh, deep. Oh, He's listening to the B-side. <laughs> oh, Mikhail. the one with them. It's Mikhail. Isn't that uh, White Knights? Yeah, there we go. Yes, White Knights. Yes. Yeah. He's talking about B-sides, right? Well, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm only on that? the top 40 shit. The shit I see was, on uh, TV. It was about. and Gregory Hines. Oh, yeah. yeah, Gregory Hines. Barishnikov? Uh, no. But there was a Lionel Richie song from there? It's very catchy. How yeah. did it go? I, I'm, I don't remember. That's the thing. I can picture it. Shit. Lionel Richie song? Wow. <laughs> it was supposed to be a darker one. Was it in a minor key? It's the B-sides, dude. It's a ballad. Oh, my God. I, I'm going to pull that on Spotify right now. I, say, um, <laughs> yeah, I just got Shazam on my phone. I thought it'd be useful. All right. <laughs> was, what would you be listening to in Hong Kong, bro? <laughs> Lionel Richie? Really? L- Lionel, came, <laughs> Lionel came to Hong Kong twice. Really? In fact, yeah, in the past few in years. The, in er- since you- Recent oh, times. You know what though? There's, it's like there's the a Phil Las, his Las Vegas song. is Hong Kong. That's that's really? Lionel's Las Vegas. <laughs> I had no idea. It's <laughs> great. Wow. <laughs> Did he's only been there twice? <laughs> Nadim, I think you might be thinking of this song. Ooh. I think you're thinking of Phil Collins. Actually. No, 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 no. no, 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 no you no, can't no, mix no, Phil no, Collins no, up with Lionel Richie. Collins. That's impossible. There's no, there's no <laughs> Lionel <laughs> Collins or Phil Richie. I don't, I don't see any, I don't see any Lionel Richie on the White Knight soundtrack. <laughs> mm. Hold on, let me let me see if I can. That that might be right. Oh wait, White Knight's original soundtrack. Let's see. It's very Lionel Richie. I think so. Nadim's trying to school us. <laughs> <laughs> nope, there's no Lionel Richie song uh, on the on on your White Knight bro. soundtrack. Dude, you just called him out. Ooh, and uh, like, come on, man, I, it's okay. <laughs> I, I have to check this. Now it's like I'm googling that. Bring me You're my wrong. phone. <laughs> You're fired. It's called You're fake fired. news. <laughs> You 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 got Phil Collins because you found one more night. Is that that's the Phil Collins? No. Sounds. I looked up the white white night. white night's that's original right. motion picture soundtrack. It's, it's uh, 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 maybe that's who you're thinking about. No no no. no. Yeah, there's it's actually a, a, a <laughs> Robert two, Plant song. Different people. Two different nights. <laughs> I liked Now and Zen. That was a good album. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's uh, welcome our guest. All right. Welcome to the new signal, everybody. Yay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, we got the uh, Earth, the barbershop quartet in there. Earth to Sophie, Earth to Sophie. <laughs> so this is a, this is a, a, a momentous occasion. This is the the first night where I think all of us are all in the same room, and we're recording an official podcast. Welcome to the new signal, everybody. All right, here's who we got in the room tonight. There we go. We got Mike Norris in the vocal booth over there. Very, very (laughs) off key. And in the background, you hear the lovely dulcet tones of Miss (laughs) Sophie Sennard. And in the room here, we got uh, Mr. Darren Shepard, D Sharp. D Sharp. Yo. What's up, D Sharp? (laughs) Over here in the corner, in the drum corner. We got the CEO, Mr. Gabriel Palomo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, I'm Nat Sodi. All right, Nat. And um, we got a Keep, special... Keeping the podcast dream alive. We got a special guest in the house tonight. That's right. Lionel. <laughs> Lionel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, would you like to introduce our guest since uh, <laughs> since since you know him and he, he came through you? He'd do a much better job right now. <laughs> I think he would... <laughs> Nadine, do you want to say hi? Well, okay, we got we got a guest artist uh, from Hong Kong. He's a artist, installation artist, but he also does a lot of music. Uh, he's in Chicago for a eight week residency at the Hyde Park Arts Center, and uh, he's um, stopping by in the new signal. Nadim, and I Welcome. don't know your last name. I just know you as Nadim. Oh, you got all the way there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Nadim. Nadim, do you have a last name, Nadim? N- N- Richie, of course. Nadine, Nadine, Richie. <laughs> this guy. Oh, he's a, he's a, he's a, great, this guy's man. a gangster, he's a <laughs> Gangster. I like him. <laughs> he's like, 
Nadim Pretty. Lionel. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Nadim Lionel Abbas. Hello. Hello, Nadim Lionel. His last name is Abbas. You ready Nadim, for Nadim, it's great you to have for... you here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nadim, what brings you to Chicago? Uh, well, it's the Hyde Park Art Center. I'm doing a uh, two month residency. And um, it's uh, great to be in Chicago. It's my first time. First time in Chicago, or f- first, have you been? Uh, been have you been to America before? I've been uh, a few times, a couple of times, not too long though. Yeah. And Every you time. were uh, tell us you were born in Hong Kong, grew up in Hong Kong. I'm I born in Hong Kong. Been there uh, pretty much most of my life. Were you uh, born before or after the the, the transfer to? Oh wow! I was born. Uh, Seventeen years before the handover. Yeah. Oh wow! So, so you 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 got to know um, what what life was like before and what what life yeah, was like yeah, afterwards, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Is there a big difference? Uh, it, yeah, it's changed. Yeah, it, it's it's it's. Are not, you not allowed to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> will we be will we like killed in the alley when we like leave the studio? <laughs> Sorry, that's a bad joke. That's a bad joke. <laughs> the, the, the assassins are waiting know, in, the, right? in the Sophie's building like, next Sophie's door. Sophie's like the uh, the sound effects. You know, like in the radio morning shows where it's like, <laughs> Douche and Darren in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> douche and Darren? <laughs> yeah, Douche and Darren. <laughs> douche and Darren. <laughs> so what you're saying, Nadim, is we're safe. <laughs> douche and Darren? That is hilarious. Wow. Hey, hey, Darren, do you want to talk on the microphone? You, if you can sit there. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good. Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you so were uh, born 17 years before the, the handover, so... <laughs> <laughs> that was a good sound. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Douche and Darren. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> oh. Sorry. How's your hangover doing, man? <laughs> yes, we found it's out you, much have, better. you have a hangover. <laughs> Tell us how you got this hangover. Hangovers are human. It's fine. Yeah. I was uh, I was home alone with a three dollar <laughs> bottle of wine. Wow, yes. wine's the worst. Dude. Welcome to America. Yes. Wine's the worst. <laughs> now, now Welcome this, to America. Would this be a typical night for you? Like, even if you were back in Hong Kong, you would have like a you know three dollar bottle of wine night, you know? Or is this something just because you're in Chicago? Right no, now? I think America is the only place where you can get wine for three dollars. Yeah, that's the worst, dude. You can't get like you, you can't it. drink that. Dude. Yeah, I had to try. I tried it a yeah, few times. No, and you it, gotta go. And tw- it gave you a hangover. You gotta go. It's th- the American you gotta go hangover. 13, 14, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars a month. <laughs> well, look at this guy, yeah, Mister you... Twenty Dollar Bottle of Wine <laughs> the guy. C- over. Talks the CEO. Trust me, I know. Trust <laughs> me. Three dollars, four dollars. Come on, dude. That shit's not even filtered. You get all the dirties. It's not even nitrate. <laughs> I know. You get all the dirty. You get Thunderbird as you. <laughs> Did you have whiskey? Was whiskey part of the equation? It, it was the um, the polishing off method. So you had like a leftover bottle of whiskey. Yeah. Right? So uh, you know. Was it uh, anything good or just kind of your? Um, what kind of? What's your whiskey? I like bourbon actually. Oh, I really? really like, I really yeah. like bourbon. Well, can, yes. can I ask what from where? Because so many people make it. From Chicago? <laughs> from, oh, you mean where in the U.S.? Oh, oh yeah, like oh, Kentucky. You, you like Irish whiskey? Like that's, Irish? That's, well, a, that's what I was drinking last night. Well, bourbon, yeah. Irish? Is, bourbon, bourbon, is, is, yeah. bourbon is specifically from Kentucky. Yeah, I know, what, but... But Irish whiskey is not bourbon. Right, it's, it's so yeah. It, yeah. it can only be called bourbon if it's from uh, Kentucky. Oh, look at this yeah. guy. Whoa. Yeah, Whoa. there's a few other things. Sodi, I'm telling you, Sodi CEO. Next, so, uh, so the next. the the bourbon you get in Chicago is not called bourbon. Well, if it's, it's it called, has to be yeah, it's, no, it has to be made in Kentucky to be called bourbon. Yeah, you can okay. get a lot of it. So, here. like for example, like there's like Jack Daniels is made in Tennessee, right. so that's why it's not it's not bourbon, right? Even oh. though it's kind of oh. similar. Wow, can, we're all can they something can they today. make it halfway and then take the bottle over to Kentucky and come back again? Maybe no, no man. There's rules, <laughs> dude. Yeah. There's rules of how they. They gotta have a PO box. Yeah. Right. So what's the local Cognac. Hong Kong alcohol? Oh yeah. Oh, you don't want to try that. It's drain cleaner. <laughs> drain cleaner. Oh, we've heard Dra- of that. oh wow. What? <laughs> what's what's the name for it? Is there like a Chinese name for it? Drain um, cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> so it's universal. <laughs> it's drain like if I walked into Hong Kong tomorrow and I was like, "Hey yo, can I get some uh, 
local booze? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's uh, yeah, it's just like uh, you know, oh, that bottle of white spirit over in the corner over there. That's yeah, sort of, um, it's the moonshine, <laughs> oh, yeah. the Hong Kong moonshine. Wow, Hard lovely. <laughs> Turn you down, Mike. Don't let them. They'll turn you down, Mike. Don't let them. No.
Nadim, tell us about your visit to Chinatown yesterday. Ah, oh. yes. I, but actually, before I, I just remembered there is a Chinese wine that I, I was thinking uh, 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 uh. that is quite actually not bad, and it's made out of uh, it's Rice. soaked soaked in pig lard. <laughs> that was what? the traditional way, apparently. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's called yok. It's called uh, yokwatsi, which means um, oh, for the yokwatsi. Yokwatsi. Uh, well, your quat siu. Siu, means, siu means burn, right? And, then, burn? and it's like a pig bone burn. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can imagine Love that. that simplicity. Yeah. Pig bone burn. That's the hangover, That's maybe. Right there. <laughs> the Chinese yeah. hangover. Great, great band name. But it's got a, it really has a meaty taste. It's sort of like a, you Ooh, know, sort well, of yeah. umami. So they take like, <laughs> yes. so it's like kind of like the way we do jello. Like yeah. We just take the Except, except yeah. 
It's like the... But in pig blood... Pig blood rice wine. Oh, wow. There you go. Wow. Mm. Oh. Radical. Okay. That doesn't sound very light. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, distilled. Distilled yeah. pig lard. Oh. Really? Wow. Mm, that well, is it's like, a little lighter. It just goes right to show you that humans will find a way to get <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> wow. Like, no matter, like, what situation we're in, like, someone's going to, like... Figure out stuff. Hey, they're gonna figure out something. Hey, we got extra pig lot over here. <laughs> Let's ferment <laughs> it. Ah, man, that's fucked up. It's like, uh, oh, <laughs> sand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone looks at pig lard and they're like, "That's gold, dude. Yeah. That's crazy, dude." So, did you come to mm. Chicago to like um, explore anything in particular, um, like pursue an idea of some kind, or what? Yeah. So you know, I had I had all sorts of ideas before I came here, but yeah. you know. Because I'd never been here before, um, these ideas were um, were like fantasies, yeah. and uh, uh, you know. But some of it, you know, I've, I've, you know, I was interested in music, you know, sort of digging up the music history and everything that happens here. And uh, look where I am now; it's fantastic. I got a question. I got a question. Yeah. I got a question. Uh, <laughs> your English is so amazing, much, <laughs> and, and why? If you're like, because you're like. You're like, oh, it's my first time here. I'm like, what? Yeah. Did you learn all your English in in, in, in in China? Did you take classes or? Um, your English is incredible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, actually, you actually, sound like you're from here. Actually, English is my first language. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because uh, cause, cause Hong Kong was a you know, it was a British colony. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So now that it's switched over, is now like. Mandarin kind of the thing that's taught in schools and English is kind of pushed down a little bit or is English still widely Yeah, I think that people the the level of English is, is sort of decreasing like people can't really It's important uh, that you yeah, yeah. You get your heritage yeah, it's uh, so basically it's like tri- it's sort of trilingual now. So it's like English, uh, Cantonese, and uh, Mandarin. But when I when I'm in Britain, people think I have a American accent. So it's sort of like a, really, yeah, you know, it really depends where you are. I I can see that. Yeah, but it's very, really it's uh, I understand yeah. you very well. Whereas it yeah. took me years coming here, and I yeah. couldn't be understood at all. Nobody. <laughs> yeah. The Yorkshire accent is very thick and very. We're, we're mumblers. Oh, you're Garage. from York. You're from Yorkshire. <laughs> I'm from Yorkshire, yeah. Oh. Uh, Middlesbrough and then. Gahan. Middlesbrough. And Middlesbrough. Yeah. I, I've been to Middlesbrough. I, I did to... notice when uh, Nadim. Sh- I was like, I was listening to his accent. I was like, sounds kind of like British. It sounds, you know. I was like, oh, you're, you really don't sound. Sounds smart. Yeah, I was in. I was in. I was in. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! What are you trying to oh, say, uh, Gabe? Yeah, you no, don't sound no. Asian. <laughs> what, what is Sophie trying to say? <laughs> sounds smart. What is that? What are you trying to say about no. us Mexicans? So, Sophie's got an, an, an English. Okay, so here's a Jackson. Nada, nada. She speaks better English than me too. Here's a natural. <laughs> here's a natural follow question. So, like, Nadim is also not a typical Chinese. So, what? Do you have a particular uh, ethnic background? Like, yeah. So, yeah, I'm actually all mixed up. It's a, It's it's uh my father's side. There's some Indian oh. heritage. Yeah, Indian oh. and uh, Southeast. South Asian, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, cool. yeah. So does Abbas Nadim Abbas. So it's like a completely Arabic name, actually. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, That's awesome. I know. <laughs> it is, man. It's really no, because cool. like when Mike was like, "Oh yeah, I got this artist from Hong Kong coming," I was picturing obviously a Chinese person. But then that lady was like, "Yeah, Nad- Nadim," and I was like, "What? Whoa, Nadim yeah. from Hong Kong." So I was like, now picturing more of like, yeah, like, yeah, like a Middle Eastern <laughs> person. So I was like, "Is it a Middle Eastern person?" Who grew up in Hong Kong, but then now that Nadim is in the room, you look pretty. You look like kind of like half, like you like Chinese, half Asian, <laughs> half like something else. So it's like, oh, okay. So there's with anyway, an English accent, yeah, and with an English accent. So you're you're fucking us all up in many ways. <laughs> um, so it should be. He's a disruptor. I say. So I think that do. of all the six people here, we're all from a different country, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, we are. Well, I'm from East Chicago, we are Indiana. The world. <laughs> Mexico, we bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But my parents are from you're Mexico, man. You're very, you're very passionate. <laughs> we yeah, are the one that. will make a better day. Okay. That's right. So let's stop <laughs> giving. <laughs>
早餐你今天吃了早餐你早餐你今天吃了早餐你午餐肉公仔面煎蛋午餐肉公仔麵多士紅帝多士紅帝多士紅帝多士紅帝今天吃了飯未我們吸水的高火蒸大約十二分鐘就夠了加隻鹹蛋加點馬蹄真是一直搞搞到一啖啖今天吃了飯未啊我吃了早餐煎蛋午餐肉多士航帝point before when we were outside he was talking about going to Chinatown and he I, I was who asked him did you ask him what it was like and uh I asked him what it was like and his first answer was really interesting I was we were like what are the people like there and he was like they're more Chinese than Chinese people <laughs> oh that's oh, right. interesting what does that mean what does that mean I like that idea so yeah I mean that the, the um, what happened was I was uh, I was in the area I was in Bridgeport oh yeah yeah and I um getting a haircut in fact <laughs> from a chinese guy your hair looks no nice, from a mexican guy oh nice best one of the best haircuts i've ever had <laughs> hey man yeah they had a good yelp rating <laughs> yeah <laughs> five star Skid five yelp. stars um and uh so you know i sort of i knew chan town was nearby so i so had a little walk up there to see what it's like yeah and it was it was kind of a I uh, first thing I saw was the all the extensions. So you have like these sort of um Chinese looking architectural extensions yeah, yeah, like yeah. painted yeah. in red and stuff, like coming out of the the porches or, or little little gateways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's the little symbols that says you're in Chinatown. 
Yeah, yeah, and it yeah, was yeah. Uh, some of them were kind of interesting. Yeah, it was sort of like a cross between uh, these sort of Brooklyn Bridge metal things. Yeah, and then these gates, which are normally made out of wood. So, so it it was like this. So, did it feel like um, a version of China that was like it's not now? It's like it's it was it's some like version of China, China, not really China. It's uh, of an, it's sort of a, a, of another time, but it's actually unique, I think, too. Yeah. Did you feel sort of like w- when you walked in there? Did you feel experience. like um, comfortable? Like you felt like, oh, this is this is an area where, you know. I mean, yeah. Or did I, it feel I, weird? Uh, I felt like a tourist. Did it feel like a Disneyland? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, uh, it was wow. a sort of a, a felt like kind of theme, a theme park. themeish. But but at the same time, it was quite. Uh, it was quite. I don't know. It's, uh, but you know, a lot of cities the, in America, that's what they do. Yeah, but it was also kind of sincere and authentic in, in, yeah. in a sense. Because yeah. that's what awkward. it was. The, you know? the yeah. people that create that architecture, the people who develop those neighborhoods in those yeah, cities I mean, they're, they are they, they're living from, there yeah. but no, you know they, what's funny is like they are from as far like as like China. restaurants in mm-hmm. Chinatown like I feel like because uh, the, the Chinese people living in America aren't on in tune with what's happening yeah, well. in, in China so like I feel like even the food in Chinatown is probably like five or ten years back from what where it's at right now is that did you eat in Chinatown? Uh, actually it tasted uh I ate in Bridgeport. I went to a Taiwanese uh, restaurant. And it was actually oh, yeah. okay. Was it good? Uh, it was yeah. good. You know, you know. I think it just depends on the restaurant, really. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't, so it's, I it's, was not a five star review. It's, it's, it's oh, the chef. Like, I like his like. So little, like nice. <laughs> it, d- it doesn't compare to like back home. <laughs> No, I mean, in, even in Hong Kong, you you know, you have shitty restaurants, you know. Right, of course. Yeah, so it's that's like true. A, so you know yeah but the best restaurant here is probably like a shitty restaurant. I imagine <laughs> the review for that restaurant starting with, even in Hong Kong, we have shitty restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. No, me, meaning that, that I thought this restaurant was actually decent. Was there a particular food oh, that, okay, you wanted yeah. to, that you wanted to eat, like, coming to Chicago? Or when you come to America, is there, like, certain things where, like, I need to get one of those? Uh, I have this thing for cherries, cherry, cherry jam. Mm. Oh. Cherry jam. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. cherries. Wow. I'm a cherry fan too, man. I grew up. You know, but that's cherry. better in like I don't feel like America is sp- no, specifically known cause, for cause, their yeah. cherry jams. But cherry, cherry isn't a thing mm. in Hong Kong, so you, uh, you can't get cherry flavored mm. things. Everything uh, here is cherry flavored. So it's like that's a, true. Right. Cherry so coke. You, yeah. So Underestimate you, the cherry. So you know. Wow. When uh, so there's this jam, this Smucker's jam that I really yeah. like. Oh yeah, Smucker's. Oh, that's yeah, wow. yeah, and that's like the most that like specific that's, that's one. The most generic. Uh, yeah, generic exactly. jam there is. But you're right though. I love uh, Smucker's grape jam. I love it. I love their peanut butter. Yeah, we, I must we say. yeah. We got peanut butter. Yeah. Yep, Smucker's peanut butter. Smucker's crunchy. The Palana. The Palana cherry. <laughs> the Palana cherry. Gabe's jam raising his hand thing. again. <laughs> Paloma point three. <laughs> So since he sent jam, I think that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Ooh. motherfuckers? You didn't think I was gonna uh, say that. What <laughs> I think I think no, the D's ready to jam. Right now, they... <laughs> All right.
We can pretend hear. that we just jammed. Yeah, exactly. This is already part two. That was a great song, guys. Great uh, job. Yeah. That was great a riff. Song. That was a lick. Way to go. I'm okay, man. You were totally feeling it. I'm fire. I'm bloody, wow. I was in I'm bloody there, naked bro. from that. Yeah. I need yeah, a break. So, I, was, uh, I was twirling sticks. Damn. <laughs> so, yeah, so, hey, hey, so, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> you were talking about that uh, <laughs> trip to Chinatown. What happened? Part two, yeah. What happened? So, yeah, I mean, because I think because I was there, the, and I was sort of walking around, it was, everything was like, you know, everyone there was like Chinese. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's sort of like, uh, there's this familiarity. And, and then I heard this music coming from an uh, upstairs window. So, one of the things I was interested about. Um, was to see like you know what people were like playing, you know. Oh yeah. And it, it, it was it was um, it was this uh, sort of uh, what do you call it? Uh, Cantonese opera. <laughs> Yeah, so some guy was, uh, I heard some guy playing a, um, a Chinese fiddle. You know, I didn't know where I was coming from for a while. Then I sort of stood back and I saw there was like this this little center, like upstairs. Yeah. And the thing is, okay, I would never do this in Hong Kong, right? Because, okay. uh, cause, you know, it's a private space, right? And, yeah. But for some reason, I felt kind of compelled that I must go upstairs and see what's going on right, in this room. So it was like a sort of... Uh, some kind of community center, and it was full of old people, and they were kind of just chilling with a big, huge table in the middle, and and they were like, uh, there's a whole bunch of them. Like, I can give you a call. So they were playing. Oh. They were playing them. So th there was like the p uh, two people on the stage singing. Oh. <laughs> So the music that you heard, was it like, in your mind, was it very old school? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the kind of music that your grandma listens to. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, but it, oh, not it's... Not my grandma. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not mine. <laughs> like, but um, it's, it's uh, something... Uh, I used to like listening to, to sort of Cantonese opera, like to, to go to bed. It sort of it was like a very soothing... Um, mm. 
I mean, but in Hong Kong, they 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 sing this kind of stuff too. Like people okay. get together, you know. Except it's a. I mean, I think what was different it was that it's a, it's much more private, in, you know. Here like in Hong Kong. Oh, in Hong Kong. Okay. Whereas here, because it's like you know, this only happening in this like little community. So when I walked in, uh, you know, they were quite uh, they were quite nice. They, you know, I sort of stood at the door, and then the old lady was like. Uh, sort of saw me and she uh, just sort of waved me over and gave me a cup of tea. And uh, yeah, but if I did that in Hong Kong, I might, I might get get a cup of tea thrown at me. Actually, why? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, I think because Hong Kong is much, it's you know it's, it's you know, comparatively bigger than Chinatown. And, yeah, of and, course. And, and, uh, <laughs> And uh, it's you know everything's so condensed and, and you know that, that's this sense of, of so like if you pri- walk into a private random, space, random you know, space and you're like oh hey, what's it's up? like yeah it's like yeah, walk, like, what the you, fuck are you yeah, doing here exactly yeah, it's, it's like yeah, you walk yeah, into yeah. someone's house yeah. Yeah. you know it's like yeah. a stranger so walks, walks yeah. into your house you know even if uh, um, <laughs> but here it's probably like they're not used to people coming in so when someone comes in like oh hey hey. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So it's like uh, come join yeah. in. Oh, oh, we've been guy. waiting uh, five years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's cool. Cool. First wow. guest. Interesting. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say something cut, with cut. what with what Nadim was just talking about. The visuals of him telling that story to me were just so fascinating. Mm-hmm. I know we were all probably picturing something similar, but enjoy the fact that we were also all completely imagining something different. But all of us were kind of walk. I was walking upstairs with him into this space. Some people gathered in one side, inviting mm-hmm. him in from the other side. Some yeah. tea, a moment. Now he's telling us this, and we're all kind of like in a little separate journey together for you know 60 seconds really interesting yeah it's cool thanks for sharing the thank you yeah Yeah. 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 thank you what type of tea was it
so basically, the situation in Hong Kong is, is complicated because you know there's supposed to be this this um, the system where Hong Kong has a certain degree of autonomy in relationship right. to China, right? So people who are living in like mainland China mm-hmm. uh, and people who are living in Hong Kong have a kind of very different and like, like right. outlook like and, and two, sort of position, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and you know, one of the worries in Hong Kong, you know, uh, out of out of many, is is that uh, that Hong Kong. T- Will not maintain this sense of autonomy. Yeah, and and that the, the mm-hmm. freedoms, uh, of everyday freedoms, are sort of you know s- s- slowly being you know chipped away. It's a difficult situation because it's a we live in uh, in Hong Kong itself. It's a very it's a sort of divided uh, city. I so so understood. so so there are you know it's like. As as uh, is you know happening all over the world, right? You know po- the political spectrums where people are divided. They have completely different like you know. So yeah, I mean, so there's half the city who who's basically uh, f- for the establishment and maintaining you know a certain uh, status quo. So How like, old were you when when the change happened? Uh, Seventeen. Wow. Oh, so you were like very aware of every like. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah, it I a big deal? Was it a big deal? Yeah. Of course. Huge deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, was on. It, um, t- it was on TV. Were you? Uh, <laughs> it was on TV. <laughs> was there cause for being kind of like nervous or scared or like? Did it feel like? Oh shit! What's gonna happen? Do or you feel safe? Hong Kong is still very safe. That's I mean, cool. definitely compared to Chicago. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, Hong Kong is. A, that's yeah. the media, you know. bro. Uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> but still, hey, we just have moments. Hard to, hard to argue with that We're one. It is very, it's very easy to argue. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's a terrible... That's a, that's a low <laughs> shot. That's a cheap shot, Nadine. That's a cheap shot. <laughs> no, you're right, though. People talk a lot of trash in Chicago, because we, Sophie and I took an Uber tonight, and this guy in the front seat who was with us said some pretty, like, whoa, like, rough stuff. About Chicago? No, just in the way he talks about... You know, beating on his girl and stuff. What? Oh, really? Yeah. Beating but on his girl? Then he goes, what? well, I don't do really mean it because that's just the way we talk. And that's how I perceive. How do you take a lot that, of it, Sophie? A lot of language. Yeah, she wasn't happy. We meaning assholes? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. You go there. Sorry to go there, so, but it was, you know, sometimes well, that's how just, it is. Okay. Oh, boy. How am I going to talk about so, so can the, I? Yeah, uh, whatever. Here, all right, let's get back to. <laughs> can I ask? Um, yeah. let's, uh, leave, let's leave Chicago. What's what's <laughs> the like in growing up in China? Like, what's the um, what's the tra- tra- trajectory for being an artist? Like, is that a very um, accepted thing to want to become, or like, did you have to kind of like go through a bunch of shit to like do what you want to do? I think uh, in tradition, like uh, in general, it's not the most yeah no sort of that, yeah that's know. everywhere. You know how they got a thing, especially uh, Hong Kong is sort of usually thought of as a very pragmatic kind of place. You know, what, and what did everyone, your parents want you to be? A, my parents were very supportive. So oh, okay, that's I, cool. I was I was lucky. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I could. So, that's, it's important. Yeah. They weren't like you need to be a doctor. No, you no. need to be a yeah. <laughs> an yeah. engineer. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you are an artist. Yeah, that's why. What do you? What, <laughs> what, <laughs> where have you been, <laughs> Sophie? Oh, Jesus, Sophie. Oh, right. Sophie, Sophie, this is Nadine. Nadine, this is Sophie. But see, I honestly, did you see his card? You know, there's a card. Did, you, did, you, just, did you just hear him play the bass? I, that's yes, that's Sophie. Wait, well, he's got so, a website. He was awesome. Why are so you here here's again? my <laughs> here's my question because I only heard Nadine play bass. So to me, he's a musician. But what is your this art? What brings what art brings you to Chicago? At the CAD, Mm-mm. you know, are you a painter or a sculptor, or a musician? Yeah, you know I, what I mean. Yeah, I'd probably. Um, He's eating your cookies, by the way. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Um, so some American cookies. Uh, amazing. <laughs> so um, I want to know. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, um, I guess I would. I could call myself a sculptor. All right. All right see. Yes. Three cool. D. Cool. Because that's what I, I I did in college. Awesome, man. So, yeah. What are your materials? It's funny. Everyone asks that question. If you say, if you say, if you if you, if you, if you, if you, if you say sculpture, yeah. so if you say I'm a painter, then it's like, uh, yeah, what medium is like uh, oil? So Nadim, what do you talk about? So did you just with basically your work? What tell do you do? Me, like, Nat, you asked the most 
lame question. <laughs> well, I yes. think we should ask him where, where, man. where can we see your art? But I, I'm actually, I'm actually sometimes surprised that artists don't, because uh, you know, uh, they, they always, yeah, like they don't, do they? They rarely say like what the work is about. Like exactly. as, a, as the first, as the first. I still don't know what your work is about. As the first answer, because I think obviously, because it would sound usually Bad sound, bass sound, sound very pretentious. Yeah, you you're right. It does uh -huh. sound pretentious. Yeah. So how do you not make it sound this pretentious? This is a safe space. Don't you, you, worry about you that. You can't. You can't. Go as pretentious as you, you want to go. You right say now. you say you know it's all the love, life, and death kind of stuff, right? Yeah. You know, all that Whoa. shit. Yeah. That was deep. Whoa. But life, life, and death are different for different people. So what's your what's your life? And but, death? Oh, but my work is not about love, life, and death. So oh, okay. Unfortunately. Yeah. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What's my work? My work is about um, images. Cool. Images. Yeah. What kind of images? Um, images <laughs> that are projected.
thanks for joining us on the new signal. Uh, extra special thanks to our guest, Adima Bas. Where's Adim? He just went hiding, but he's there. I see him. He's waving goodbye. I'm giving you a shout out. Eh, it doesn't matter. Well, it does. Well, Gabe, Darren, Sophie. We could continue for a while. It's kind of like when you say this is the last song, you're really just saying we're gonna, we're gonna kind of keep going for a while. But you know, this could be it. So, um, great night. We'll see if Nadine wants to say a couple words. I'm not sure. We'll see.